Welcome, proud parents, spouses, children, siblings, grandparents, extended family, and friends of our graduates. Welcome dedicated faculty, staff, trustees, alumni, and friends of the college. A special welcome and congratulations to the Northwest Iowa Community College Class of 2020. I am Aletha Stubbe, president of your community college, and we are pleased that you have joined us virtually today to celebrate this memorable occasion. Indeed, these are pre unprecedented times, and this will likely be recorded in our history as one of the most unique graduations NCC has ever had. Graduates, we are especially proud of the determination you have shown this year, overcoming challenges and obstacles none of us ever thought possible, and we celebrate you and your accomplishments. You did it! This is your day, and your success is our story. Graduates, the excellent education that you have received at NCC is grounded on a strong foundation provided by our faculty and staff. It is through their expert knowledge in their fields and outstanding service to students that a high quality education is possible at NCC. Our faculty and staff have instructed, mentored, encouraged, influenced, and guided you, providing you with challenges and opportunities for growth perhaps more this year than ever before. They are part of your success story as they have helped you to achieve your goals in order to open the next chapter in your life story. Even though we are not together in person today, I wish to publicly thank our faculty and staff. I am inspired by their adaptability and resolve to help our graduates finish NCC strong. Graduates, on behalf of everyone participating in this unique virtual experience, your family and friends, our college community, and our board of trustees, please accept our heartfelt congratulations on this momentous occasion. Commencement is a celebration, not of an ending, but of a successful new beginning, a new chapter in your life story. That is why at NCC, true success is measured, is not measured in days, months, or years, but lifetimes, your lifetime. Your success is our story, or put another way, your story is our success. The stories you have experienced while at NCC and those you're about to live are ones you'll be telling over and over again no doubt about it. I don't know of any class that has ever been thrown such a curveball, but you hit it out of the park. The resilience each of you have displayed will benefit you going forward, as preparation is the key to success, and you have shown you are prepared for almost anything, the unimaginable. We are all proud of your success. The meaning of success is personal, changing as priorities and goals change. We, you are successfully completing this diploma or degree, and with your fortitude and passion for purpose in your life, you already hold the key to your next success. Whether you make that your family, being a nurse, an electrician, a power line technician, transferring to another college, or finishing your next degree at NCC. Graduates, you possess the key to unlock your potential and make our world a better place. As John Maxwell advises in his book, Five Tips to Unlock Your Potential, to reach your next goals, focus on your strengths, focus on today, focus on your priorities, focus on your results, and focus on your contribution. The future is in good hands indeed, your hands, as each one of you define your success story. Graduates, you leave NCC as alumni and 
ambassadors of this college and our communities. We invite you to come back to your community college often in the future to serve on program advisory committees, the Alumni Association, our foundation, continue your involvement in other ways, or simply to visit and sh share your success. Again, congratulations, graduates, and best wishes. At this time, I am pleased to introduce to you our commencement speaker, Damaris Correa. She is from Stockton, California, where she lives with her mom, dad, and her twin brothers. She is graduating with her associate degree of nursing. After graduation, she plans to stay in Iowa to further her work experience. She enjoys reading, indoor gardening, and listening to music. The title of her speech is The Change We Seek. Hello, my name is Damaris Correa, and I would like to welcome all faculty, staff, administration, family, friends, and most importantly, the graduates to the 2020 graduation ceremony. I am excited to celebrate this moment with every single one of you. This year has come with its challenges and changes that have molded us into what we are today. These changes, whether good or bad, have played a part in our growth. When we started this college adventure, we anticipated that there would be changes in our lives. Some we planned for and some we did not. These changes have prepared us for the future. Most of our changes are anticipated. You expect changes regarding the environment, people, weather, and food. When I moved to Iowa from California, I also expected a lot of snow, but I definitely got more than I was expecting. We expected our programs to be rigorous and straining. In addition to those expectations, we had to learn and understand how each instructor taught and graded. We also had expectations that our instructors would be knowledgeable of our careers and guide us to success. One of the hardest class this year for my classmates and I was pharmacology. Aren't we glad we passed it? This class taught us that even though we started off rough, we needed to dig deep and not become discouraged. Fortunately, we had 16 weeks. Now we can look back at that time and are grateful for all that we've learned and realize how important it was for our career. I also expected the majority of people here to not look or think like me. Throughout my two years here, I've learned that being with different people than you are used to challenges you to reconsider your beliefs and also your stereotypes that can hinder your growth. Thanks to the LLRC, I've met the majority of everyone in Sheldon. It's a small town. I've come to learn and appreciate your way of life, like how everyone is somehow related to everyone in town. Football and basketball at all levels are taken very seriously, and your hospitality. I appreciate and respect your kindness. I've never been this far away from home before, but I appreciate all of you making me feel welcomed. Let's talk about the unexpected changes that have us all gathered by our computers today. If school was not hard enough, COVID-19 has made it even harder for us to finish our education. With this threat of infection, everyone is afraid to continue life as expected. I never thought I would miss having lecture at 8 a.m. every day. While, while in quarantine, days run together. The only reason that I know today is May 8th is because my graduation countdown notified me. Fortunately for the nursing graduates, this is what we've been preparing for. We're all being called to help this nation and thankfully we've all been given the tools to be successful. Hopefully we all remember how to put on PPEs. It's gloves first, right? I'm kidding. Being in quarantine is incredibly inconvenient and takes a great deal of diligence to comply with. Let's think about it and realize that this quarantine is not about you as an individual. It's about everyone else who cannot fight the disease off, health professionals who have to go to work, and for the greater good. With all that being said, as a future registered nurse, I urge you to continue practicing social distancing and following the guidelines from the CDC. During this spring semester, as a graduating class, we faced the unforeseen changes of having to continue our education online. For some programs like nursing, accounting, and information technology, this move was somewhat seamless. For programs like Powerline, industrial, and heavy equipment, I can only imagine how difficult it was to have class online. Most, if not of all your education, is physical and hands-on. These changes created obstacles that made it harder to reach our goals. We are graduating today because we surpassed our comfort levels. We should all be proud of ourselves for reaching this moment. During the school year, 
I faced a couple of personal unexpected changes that were especially tough to go through and live with. In the last week of transitioning to my RN classes last summer, my mother called to let me know that my grandfather had passed away from health complications. This was heartbreaking because I was his first grandchild and I had planned to go see him in Kenya after this very graduation. In January of this year, I lost my aunt to terminal cancer. I was devastated and as I thought about it some more, I am glad that they're both free from pain and suffering. I hope that I am making both of them proud. This year has been the hardest year of my life. Being a student is hard, and that's because of all the sacrifices you have to make. Whether it's family, friends, or our social lives, we've all had to give something up. The one thing I encourage you to never give up or sacrifice is your well-being. Caring for yourself is not self-indulgence, it is self-preservation, and that is an act of political warfare. Audrey Lord. Fight for yourself and take care of yourself, no matter what. In conclusion, change is inevitable, but growth is optional. When you change your environment, make sure you learn new things about yourself. Talk to different people and try different things. Throughout everything we've gone through, we are still determined to finish the school year strong. Our decisions and choices have led us here. We are about to begin a new journey in life, and I am elated. This should encourage you to go further in your education and your future endeavors. Although we wish we could all gather together with family and friends to celebrate all of our accomplishments with a regular commencement, you should know that your accomplishments are still valid. If you can make it through COVID-19, you can make it through anything. I would like to thank my parents for their unconditional love and support throughout my whole life. My brothers for their loyalty my friends for their love that they've given me and also their advice. I thank NCC and all faculty for preparing us to be safe and competent in our respective fields. Earning my degree here has been a pleasure. Thank you to my wonderful nursing instructors and director for guiding us through this program with grace and your deep knowledge and passion for nursing. As a graduate, I am thankful for the opportunity to be in an environment that facilitates success, promotes personal development. I would like to leave you with a quote. Change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the ones we seek. Barack Obama. Congratulations to the class of 2020. We did it. Thank you for those inspiring words, Damaris. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. John Hartog, Vice President of Student and Academic Services, who will provide a special recognition of our veterans, student achievement, and present the candidates for degrees and diplomas. John? Today we begin by honoring those graduates who are veterans of the United States Armed Services. We thank you for your service to our country, and we thank you for your many sacrifices that you have made in defense of our freedoms. At this time, we would like to say the Pledge of Allegiance to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. By the conclusion of this academic year, 412 students will have graduated from Northwest Iowa Community College. Commencement ceremonies are held at the end of the spring term, at the end of the summer term, and at the end of the fall term. Here at NCC, we celebrate academic excellence and leadership development. So at this time, we would like to recognize those students who have been inducted into the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society, those students who were members of the All-Iowa Academic Team, and the student who excelled in the District Competition of Skills USA. We also recognize those students who have attained a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 or higher on the 4.0 scale. If we were holding this graduation ceremony in traditional fashion, these students would be wearing gold honor cords and they would stand to be recognized. 
Today, we encourage you to pay special attention to the slides of this presentation and notice all the students' names that have earned this special recognition. And among that group, there are even some who have earned the 4.0 cumulative GPA. So special congratulations to all of these students on a job well done. And now it is time for the presentation of the candidates for degrees and diplomas. Mr. Larry Hookstra, the students listed in the program having met the requirements prescribed by Northwest Iowa Community College and the Iowa Department of Education are candidates for graduation. Associate of Arts Degrees, Kaysen Shea Backer, Peyton Allen Boone, Honor Student, Sadie Renee Busby, Amber Nicole Doherty, Ross Christian Eldridge, Darby Ray Herb, Tyrone Leland Fude, Victoria Jensen Granch, Hesela Garcia Granillo, Ingrid Paola Guapo, Cole Brady Hagedorn, Madeline Katie Hewitt, Joshua R. Hoffman, Nictaloy G. Lopez, Sarah Hope Mawson, Honor Student, Jennifer Lynn Mangel, Jorge Martinez Vieira, Chloe Marie Moore, Bryn L. Mueller, 4.0 GPA, Jill Nicole Nightingale, Honor Student Phi Theta Kappa, Madison Claire Olson, Latoya Johnson Ubre, Adam Ulf Samuelson, Lauren Catherine Shimek, Jaretsi Sedano, Lee Otis Smith, Kira Michelle Stanley, Emily R. Stevenson, Joseph M. Stevenson, Brianne Michelle Thompson, Caitlin Ann Vanderstope, Honor Student Phi Theta Kappa, Joelle Renee Vanderwall, Honor Student Phi Theta Kappa, Elizabeth Ray Warnke, Honor Student Phi Theta Kappa, Quinton James Wienya, Honor Student, Associate of Science Degrees, Dustin Alexander Freeman, Associate of Applied Science Degrees, Megan Marie Babb, Katrina L. Carlson, Paige Elizabeth Solzma, Samuel J. Tunison, Honor Student, Leah Elizabeth Van Ravensway, Honor Student, Tessa Nicole Vandenbosch, Ruby K. Albers, Honor Student, Carly Marie Honkamp, Honor Student, George T. McIver Jr., Callie Jean Miller, Honor Student, Samantha Jean Anderson, Honor Student Phi Theta Kappa, 
Jennifer Catherine Ostetter, Jamie Lynn Baumgars, Norel Francis Brown, Rachel Lee Christ, Phi Theta Kappa, Jaden Nicole Fetters, Honor Student Phi Theta Kappa, Alex Lee Gradert, Paula Janine Han, Honor Student, Miso Wayesa Hami, Ashley Ray Heatland, Phi Theta Kappa, Jacqueline Powell Hieronymus, Phi Theta Kappa, Suzanne Monini Canini, Kendra Sue Kaiser, McKenna Ray Coy, Damaris Wanjiku Kuria, Josfat Moturi Matagaro, Monica W. Waninki, Kendra Joe Neuendorp, Samson Banyi Nyambati, Kendra Rose Ostra, Michaela Jean Perkins, Kristen Joe Roth, Honor Student Phi Theta Kappa, Anna Rose Schmidt, Honor Student Phi Theta Kappa, All Iowa Academic Team, Megan Sue Sefkin, Kobe Isaiah Simmons, Tessie Lee Simon, Sarah Beth Smith, Danielle Marie Struby, Honor Student, Erica Michelle Van Beek, Phi Theta Kappa, Alyssa May Van Serksum, Honor Student Phi Theta Kappa, Allie Lynn Van Tilburg, Shayna Beth Mossen, Honor Student, Cole K. Stave, Honor Student, John Borapa, Jonah Neil Dakin, Byron R. Mariquin Morales, Carson Paul Stave, 4.0 GPA, Catherine Lynn Beeman, Kendra Sue Kastner, Shannon Lee King, Honor Student, Sherry Renee Postma, Honor Student, Shanda Deanne Schlins, 4.0 GPA, Hunter John Boimler, Mitchell Scott Bole, Dalton Allen Burke, Hunter James Esserhout, Brock Dennis Scott Garrigan, Jacob Gary Hunt, Jonathan Lee Confrist, Thomas Allen Cooney, Mark David Morley, Tyler Keith Sipma, Jace Thomas Worderish, Joseph Carl Bohm, Austin L. Chase, Jaden Den Bower, Riley Elwell, Michael L. Glasscock, 
Nicholas I. Gotch. Alex Hoffman. Evan Ingalls. Dallas Jalas. Dalton John Lowman. Byron J. Mawson. Honor student. Micah Leo Messner. Honor student. Devin Michael Saylor. Honor student. Riley Joel Schnickloth. Nathan A. Tape. Dylan W. Tunison. Dean Michael Emker. 4.0 GPA. Adam Samuel Moore. Honor student. Christopher Lee Ward. Cade Matthew Westervelt. Brian Lee Loke. Honor student. Brianna Grace Van Veldhusen. Honor student. Diplomas. Morgan Kathleen Feenstra. Honor student. Allison Kate Jennings. 4.0 GPA. Carrie Ray Siebrecht. Cassidy Marie Van Toole. Emily Nicole Versteg. Brooke Nicole Voss. Dakota James Ament. Honor student. Justin Christopher DeWeird. Honor student. Sean Thomas Hexamer. Samuel Ryan Hoekstra. Cordell Zachary Koiker. First place, District Skills USA. Drew Michael Maron. Honor student. Miguel Angel Mondragon. Honor student. Jeffrey A. Peterson. Honor student. Darren Michael Rensick. Honor student. Lindsay Joanne Sassman. Andrew Joseph Schwartz. Lucas Allen Sint. Honor student. Misty Dawn Spaulding. Honor student. Ethan Van Bemmel. 4.0 GPA. Eddie Cruz Villanueva. 4.0 GPA. Jacob Allen Voss. Selena Chavez. 4.0 GPA. Sonia Garza Carrizales. Honor student. Megan Lynn Levon. Michelle Santana. Jennifer Desiree Vandentop. Carissa Danielle Wienya. Honor student. Mackenzie Sue Yeager. Brooke Nicole Ziebenbergen. Honor student Phi Theta Kappa. Andrew Merle Clausen. Abby Damaris Constantino Bautista. Jessica Ann Block. Charlene K. Walters. Honor student. Jennifer Lynn Kipfer. 4.0 GPA. Shelby Joe Rebeling. Stephanie Suzanne Sorensen. Corbin Edward Alderton. Honor student. Bailey Craig Benton. Honor student. Kane William Borgeson. Zachary Craig 
Childs. Tanner Jackson Church. Honor student. Brandon Edward Engelken. Benjamin John Ernst. Honor student. Tyler David Hennegar. Honor student. Carter Jacob Herbst. Honor student. Nathan Carl Herman. Cal Jeffrey Hager. Honor student. Elijah Green Hogan. Honor student. Russell Taylor Jondal. 4.0 GPA. Marcus Allen Kiefer. 4.0 GPA. Maxwell Allen Coons. Honor student. Jordan Thomas Kunkel. Honor student. Blake Stephen Lang. Zachary Robert Legrand. Honor student. Trevor Mitchell Loso. Cole Michael Marzen. Jaron Patrick McKibben. Riley Paul McWhorter. Andrew Ray Mueller Jr. Kyle James Mullenbeck. Honor student. Zachary Stephen Rosauer. Wyatt Jeffrey Thomas Savell. Honor student. Tucker Daniel Schofield. Trey Allen Sweeney. Michael John Welts. Honor student. Zachary J. Wilinga. Honor student. Jackson Hunter Worster. Alexis Lynn Anderson. Caitlin Elizabeth Beckler. Angela Luray Blumendahl. Macy Lynn Kamen. Miranda Joy Chumley. Lindsay Ann Cundiff. Honor student Phi Theta Kappa. All Iowa Academic Team. Michaela May Caitlin DeBont. Shelby Lynn Dolphin. Honor student. Nicole Lee Fisher. Maria Christina Floyd. Kirsten Elizabeth Glacken. Teresa Lynn Ganade. Honor student. Katerina Beverly Griffin. Molly Jeanette Heiderbrink. Morgan Irene Ray Hobach. Ubaga Juma James. Allison Ray Jansen. Alexa Ann Julius. Hannah Elizabeth Jungers. Honor student. Florence Wangari Kamau. Kaya Elaine Kastner. Abigail Joyce Lamb. Taylor J. McGuire. Nelson Mogir Momanyi. Honor student. Haley I. Moreno. Andrea Renee Muller. Unia M. Orwaru. Ashley Nicole Peck. Kiana Marie Roman. Karen Denise Sanchez. Courtney Ray 
Schnoor, honor student. Shelby, Caitlin, Sprock. Crystal, Joe, Star, honor student, Phi Theta Kappa. Jessica, Lee, Van Dyke, honor student. Shayla, Brooke, Van Materen. Karen, Guadalupe, Vargas, Espino. Christina, Lauren, Vasquez, honor student. Monica, Ann, Vink. Annalise, Claire, Vonk. Megan, Jean, Waldner. Jenna, Ann, Warburton, honor student. Amanda, May, Ward. Tyler, J. Whitkinek. Hallie, Jade, Winkleman, honor student. Victoria, A. Miller. Cirrus, Orville, Sampson. Certificates. Nestle Fuller. High School Equivalency Diploma. Micah Jerome Albert. Alyssa Ruth Struth. Cheyenne Lee Thomas. Brandon Dwayne Vandervleit. William John Walmsley. I now introduce Mr. Larry Hookstra, who is the president of the Board of Trustees of Northwest Iowa Community College. He will now confer upon you your degrees and diplomas. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Northwest Iowa Community College and by the statutes of the Code of Iowa, I hereby confer upon you the degrees of Associate of Arts, Associate of Science, Associate of Applied Science, diplomas, and certificates. The degrees and diplomas placed in your hand shall forever be testimony of your academic achievement. Graduates, congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Hookstra. Congratulations again and best wishes to our 2020 spring graduates of Northwest Iowa Community College. Although we couldn't gather together in person today, we sincerely hope that you will join us at any future on-site graduation ceremony, whether that's a July, December, or May graduation, to walk proudly across the stage in the presence of family, friends, and your NCC family to once again celebrate your successes and commemorate your accomplishments in the time-honored traditions of NCC. By the end of May or early June, you will be receiving a special graduation delivery in the mail, complete with your diploma, cover, tassel, honor cords, a commencement program, and special alumni gift for you, our first ever virtual grads of NCC, as you hold the key to the future. Congratulations and best wishes always for success.